and welcome to my channel, Sam Within Me. Okay, today's reading is going to be a love reading for Aquarius Sun Moon Rising, and this is your monthly reading for June 2021. All right, so without further ado, my darlings, let's get into it. Okay, guys, guardians, ancestors, angels, and ancient gods, please give me clear and concise messages for Aquarius Sun Moon Rising regarding their love life for June 2021. What does Aquarius need to know regarding their love life for June 2021? Now, if you see this reading at another time, that's okay. The messages come to you when they are meant to. All readings are timeless. But for those that watch the channels religiously, we like to give some dates. Okay. All right. Aquarius, what do you got going on here? All right. Nine of Swords. Aquarius. Okay, you guys have a lot of anxiety, inner suffering, and despair, sleepless nights about something regarding love here. You're also feeling very defensive with the Seven of Wands. Now, I'm, I'm seeing here, you're either feeling defensive or maybe some of you have, because uh, I know Aquarius, like we don't, I'm an Aquarius, we don't hold shit back. We tell you how it is. We speak our minds. It is always meant to be from a good place. But sometimes people, you know, are extra sensitive or, you know, I also noticed about Aquarius because we're, we have big hearts. It's like if somebody pisses you off or something and then you finally like, you know what, I'm just going to speak my mind. It's, oh my God, I can't believe you said that. And it's like, well, you know, hello, you've been pissing me off for a long time. We, we, I was supposed to say nothing. So, you know, this might be somebody that you're dealing with in your relationship um, that maybe, maybe you got defensive and you said something that, you know, you thought back later on, like, oh, maybe I shouldn't have said that. And it's been keeping you up at night, you know, something that is burdening you with the seven of, uh, or excuse me, 10 of wands here. Um, and I'm just seeing a lot going on here. I'm seeing a lot on your plate, a lot in your mind, um, just a lot here. And then with the hanging man. Uh, you're just like in limbo, you know, you're, you're in limbo, you're not sure what to do next, and you feel like you've made some self-sacrifices here. Um, maybe you've snapped, like I said here before, maybe you snapped because, you know, you're trying to... You're trying to do you, but you, you still need to speak up for yourself, and if somebody has been, you know, mistreating you, for whatever reason, you know, you, you had to say something. I feel this is definitely something that was said. Something that was said, you feel bad about it, um, but like nonetheless, you're feeling burdened and like in limbo because you possibly for some of you, you've made too many self-sacrifices that like I said, you got to the point where it was like, okay, I need to say something. But then you said something and you, you said something. You let it loose. You let it out. You unleash the beast and you can't take it back and now you feel bad. Okay, so let's see. What did you say? <laughs> What's going on with Aquarius? Okay, can you give us some more messages for Aquarius? Okay. Now this can also be reversed. This might be the way somebody treated you and now you're having sleepless nights. You know, maybe you... Somebody was being a certain way to you. You got defensive. You know what I mean? Okay. All right. Let's see. What do we have here? Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. So. So I'm seeing here for some of you, there's a breakup. And for others, there's a separation. There's silence. Okay. Now. I'll go through these. So I, I see here, not today, not dealing hurt, avoiding a conversation, call a person, boundaries, still angry. Okay, so I feel that's where the sleepless nights are coming in. Whether you said something or they said something, you know, there, there's definitely a fight here. There was an argument. Things were said. Whoever said what, whichever ends, it, it, that resonates with you, that you know the difference of who's what and what's going on here. You know, I, I'm just going to tell you what I see. Um... Now, if somebody, like I said, is said, like, I don't want to be with you anymore, and that could be what it was like, oh, sleepless nights, I regret that I said that. Now this person, if you hurt their feelings, they're not answering your call, 
or vice versa. I have acts here, breakup, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment, and abandonment. So somebody may, have, may feel like they've been abandoned and you're trying to prove a point by not speaking to this person. Maybe you feel, and I can see this with you, Aquarius, maybe you feel, well, someone disrespected me, you know, and I kept telling them, like, don't do that, don't do that, and they kept, you know, like, here's the line, they go over it. Okay, well, I'm gonna put another line, you know, because we're very loving, and then they're gonna go over it. It's like, okay, but then I'm gonna draw a line, and if you go over it, that's it, I'm done. And I feel that's what happened here. Somebody went beyond, and you were like, mm-hmm, and now, oh, they're trying to call you, and you're like, no, you need to learn. You do not disrespect me. You do not speak to me this way. You do not treat me this way, you know, so on and so forth. Um, so you may be, like I said, in silent treatment, separation, or breakup, and somebody is calling and not answering, okay? So we have here the Grim Reaper. Actually, let me go to this one first, the Mirror. Mirroring each other, self-image relationships reflect our wounds, introspection. So now whoever it is here that um, initiated the bullshit, I'm going to say. So for example, if, if the person is, your ex is calling you, or the person you're separated from is calling you, and you're saying, well, you have to learn a lesson, they're definitely going to go into um, introspection. They're going to reflect and see, okay, well, what happened? What's going on here? Let me try and see things from their side. Now, for some of you, like I said, you kept drawing the line and drawing the line and drawing the line, giving this person the opportunity to, you know, mend their ways and they just didn't. And now you're done. So for some of you, yeah, this person is going to be like, yeah, okay, I, I took some time. I thought things through and they're calling you because they want to make amends. But you're like, no, with the Grim Reaper, no, the relationship is over. No second chances. Grow and transform your life on your own. I'm done with you. Okay, now this isn't going to apply to everyone. You know, only what resonates with you. So let's see. Let's get some uh, letters and initials here from my initials, traits, and features deck, which you can purchase at my zenwithinme.com shop or my Etsy shop. Let's see. I'm just using the letters portion for this. Who is Aquarius dealing with? Oh, yeah. See, for some of you, we have an X here. Okay. I'm going to put that right there. And the other letter that came through, we have a K. Okay, so we have an X, we have the letter K. Now that could be initials, could be someone from Kentucky or Kansas. The letter V. Seeing like Vic with a K. Kevin. Oh, it's however it resonates with you, those are just some names that are coming out last shuffle. Who's Aquarius dealing with? Okay, thank you. T. Could be someone from Vermont, or however Vermont comes into play here. And I. Ha, Vic, with a K, I said V I K, I spelled out. That's funny. I'm also saying Vito. Vito? Okay. And Kit, K I T, that could be a nickname. But the letters are X, K, VTI, however it resonates with you. I'm also seeing like Victoria, okay? Okay, so let's see. What messages do we have for Aquarius regarding their love life? For June 2021. All right, so I, I see success coming out here. So, all right, we have learning, all right, which to me is the same as mirror. So you have somebody that's going in to reflect on everything. So they're going to learn and they're gonna grow here, okay, from what they've learned. They're gonna seek forgiveness, okay? And for some of you, this will be successful, okay? So where it also says grow and transform your life, Somebody may, now this could be somebody that you'll be broken up with for a while, or this is something that happened a long time ago in the past, and this person has had time to reflect and maybe even date other people to then fully understand where they screwed up with you, and now they're coming back in because they want to have that successful relationship with you. And I see here with Source, they're going to talk directly to you. They're not going to like, you know, go through the grapevine and stuff like that. You know, they're going to like call you, show up at your house, 
like something directly to you, like going straight to the source, okay? And I'm also getting that this person may be spiritual. They might um, like go to church and pray a lot and stuff like that. Okay, so let's see. What are the messages that we have for Aquarius regarding their love life for June 2021? And in case I didn't say it already, this is a timeless reading. So if you see this in July, it's fine. It'll find you when it needs to. Compassion. You demonstrate the language of the heart by actively sharing and living love. Okay, so there's going to be some compassion shown here to this ex. Okay. Okay, what are the messages do we have? For Aquarius. Oh, okay. This is from the Archangels and the Animals. They have a lot to say to you. Okay, so we have Badger. Bring your life into balance. Archangels Mary and Sandalphon. So bring your life into balance. And then we have Kangaroo. Be a force for good. Archangels Rokio, Garcisa, and Sandalphon. And monkey, experience all that life has to offer, Archangel Raphael. So yeah, so if you're burdened by this relationship, if this is something that you're dealing with right now, you're being told, be a force for good, bring your life into balance, and experience all that life has to offer. Don't stick around in a relationship that's not serving you or it's bringing the worst out of you. You, you don't need to do that. You know, there, There's more for you out there. Um, just keep that in mind. All right, so let's see. I'm actually, you know what? I'm going to grab from this deck because I want to know what advice do we have for Aquarius? What advice do we have for Aquarius regarding their love life for June 2021? <laughs> so I want you to think of a yes or no question. Because this card that came out is a yes or no card. So think of a yes or no question. And then I'm going to give you the answer. Okay, you ready? Your answer is yes. Your intuition is correct. Take action accordingly. Okay, so that is your reading, Aquarius. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, watching, and subscribing. Make sure you click the bell and select all so you'll be notified every time I post new content. You can also follow me on TikTok for daily content. Uh, check out my uh, website, zenwithinme.com, and my Etsy shop, Zen Within Me, if you'd like to buy my Oracle deck. If you would like to purchase merch, I got the shelf down below so you can show everyone that you are Zen Within. And peace and love, guys. Stay safe, and I will see you in the next reading.